Hey guys, Pastor Preston is my name. I want to talk to you about um, the things that we pay attention to, how they affect our life. You know, um, you know, we have several gates to which information are passed into our system, right? We have the eye gates, we have the ear gates, you know, and then some other kinds of gate to which uh, things passes through to us. Uh, it's very important that you be careful the things that you watch, the things that you hear, because they form a mindset for you. They form the way you perceive life, they form the way you think, they form the way you um, are. You know, Scripture says um, in Timothy, it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Unfortunately, in Africa, we know how to always bring forward um, a lot of things about fear. You know, I, I discovered recently, while I was fellowshiping the Lord, the Lord was talking to me about um, how a lot of uh, the things that were, were presented to us has cost us a lot of problems uh, instead of blessings. You know, for example, the stories we were told while we were growing up, you know, those kind of films that they showed to you, right? A lot of those village films, fearful films, you know, someone might want to say, well, well, that's the truth about life. People are wicked. Yes, we know, but people are wicked around the world. But you see, when we begin to choke our mind with so much of fear, how will we begin to produce excellent things out of life? We will not produce excellent things out of life, but we'll produce a lot of fearful things. I want you to see this scripture, very beautiful scripture. Mark chapter number 4, verse number 24, Amplified Classic Edition. Right? It says, And he said to them, Be careful what you are hearing. Watch this. Be careful what you are hearing. The measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will be the measure of virtue and knowledge that comes back to you and more besides will be given to you who hear. Did you see that? So he says, uh, be careful, watch this, be careful what you are hearing. He says, be careful. So you must not just open your ears to everything that shows up because they are misinforming you. Right? Everyone in life is being influenced by the things that he hears or he sees. A man cannot create above what he has seen already or what he can what he can picture in his mind. So a lot of these things that we hear, a lot of these things that we watch, they are misleading us. They are not sending the right information to us and uh, to us, causing us to think in that way. Hallelujah. For example, somebody dreams in the night and then, of course, some of these things that he has watched comes back in the night and then he starts to picture them right he starts to to dream these things and then he begins to feel like someone is after his life and all of all that and then you spend all your life pushing one devil pushing one wizard one witch instead of using yourself creatively to produce some very beautiful things out of life as you've been called to do let me show you this in philippians very interesting and beautiful scripture look at it whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things did you see whatever is fearful did you see whatever is demonic did you see whatever is terrible right some people just sit down and begin to watch one demonic film uh what they call those um horror movies you know i've heard people say i like horror movies but question you need to ask is what does it do to you Right? What does it do to you? All this village thing where somebody's going to the native doctor, voodoo uh, man, and all of all those things. You're just watching these things. So when you see a certain reaction from someone, you begin to, to say, oh, that's how it is. Or maybe someone just does a sign that they did in a movie, and you forgot that that was scripted. You're right? And then you begin to say, well, this is somebody now. Want, ah, this has been sent to one demonic, this, blah, blah, blah. And you use spend all your beautiful life thinking demon, witches, wizard, terrible things, and then you are creating all this nonsense. Think about it, because as a man thinking, Bible says, so is he. So don't let people sell the wrong things to you that you spent your money to buy or you spent your time and energy to watch. 
Glory to God. I don't watch stupid films. I don't watch stupid things. In fact, the worst one now is sometimes some people are sending you stuff on WhatsApp, wanting to show you what's going on, how they cut somebody's head, how somebody died in an accident, all these terrible things, and then you're watching it. You don't know that they are selling an idea to you, a wrong idea at that, okay? Because the day you get pressed, the day you get in a, in a terrible state, you will remember the same thing and you will want to venture into them. Yeah, because the truth is, if the content is not in you, you will not have it to use it if there be need to use it. But if you keep the content in you, you will have need to use them because you have kept that negative content in you. So you must only hear the right things, sing the right music, right, say the right things, or listen to the right things, and things that are consistent with scriptures according to the New Testament in Christ Jesus, according to the resurrection of Christ. Things that are consistent, not just because you showed up in the Bible or because you, you, you tend to hear it. I tell you the truth because you're causing yourself a lot of danger you may not know. You're causing, you're causing, you're destroying beauty out of you, beauty inside of you that you could use to create something very fantastic. So Proverbs chapter number 23 verse number 7, I guess, yes, he says, as a man thinketh, so is he. You are not different from what you think. I tell you the truth. You cannot act above how you how you think. You cannot create above what works in your mind. So you must be careful what is feeding your mind. You must be careful what's passing information to your mind. You must be careful the things that are that are building up in your in, in your in your head. You must be careful. As a matter of fact, you must even be careful the people you speak to all the time. It doesn't necessarily need to be factual. He has to be truth according to the word of God. See what he says in Philippians 4 8. He says, These are the things that you should think about. These are the things that you should think about, right? It doesn't need to be realistic. Glory to God. It doesn't need to be true, uh, uh, true by what standard. He has to be. The, does the word of God ask us to think on these things? If he doesn't ask us, then don't think about them so you don't create them with your beautiful life. You see, Africa has continued to remain backward because they keep selling backward things to us on the movie. They keep selling backward things to us as advice. Even some of the stories, right, that they tell us, bedtime stories are negative things that begins to cause the devil to take advantage of these things to create the wrong things in us. Glory to God. Scripture says, it says, a bad tree we produce a bad fruit. And then it says a good tree, we produce a good good fruit. Then it says you cannot have a fruit that is not the product of the tree that's inside. You know, some people tell you, well, I just, I'm just thinking in the past, I'm just thinking a lot. That's not who I really am. Okay, it just came to my mind. No, no, that's not true. If you can produce them out, if you can say them, right, that means there's a tree of such in you and that's produced because you heard someone saying it and you meditated on it or you heard and continued to to hear so continue to hear the right things meditate only on the right things because some of my own but listen to me my say pastor preston but sometimes we can't really control the things that we see or the things that we hear let me show you what to do if people send the wrong videos to you don't open it and then if it just happened that you have to see it or you hear it quickly speak the right things against it speak the right things for example somebody just showed you how things are very tough you said no i don't belong in that class i belong in god's economy and in that economy me i succeed i, I, I i'm never broke i can never Never die in poverty. Then you say the right things that's consistent with scripture to counteract the wrong thing that are just coming so it doesn't produce a fruit out of you that will cause you, that will cause you pain or cause someone pain or cause harm to those within your sphere of contact. Glory to God, somebody. So you must be careful. You must be careful. Don't let anybody sell the wrong things to you. Don't let anybody. Don't buy them. Say, oh, it's an interesting movie, but it's so full of witches. One time in those days, I remember how I used to watch uh, these this movies. They'll say white witches and black witches. And then we used to watch this kind of movie. I remember all the time I'm sleeping. I begin to dream all kind of dreams. So I can't walk in the night alone. I'm thinking sometimes, even as a young boy, I began to say, well, ah, it would be nice to be a white witch. Can you imagine that? Right, so I'm thinking, where are they thinking these things from? They're destroying a great generation. They can produce beautiful things out of life. They want to keep Africa to become backward instead of us to continue to become to, to create better things that our children will enjoy, that the society will be grateful for. Glory to God. And most importantly, that is not the will and direction of God for us. So stop it, 
so you can help your future, so you can create the right things. So even when the Spirit of God is trying to speak the right things out of you, these negative pictures will not counteract it or work against the will of God that wants to come out of you. Glory to God, somebody. Very important. That's my message for today. I want you to pay attention to the things that you hear. Pay attention to the things that you listen. Pay attention to the things that you give attention to. Never give attention to the wrong things. He says, be careful the things that you hear. He says, to what measure you hear, it will be measured back to you. So don't hear the wrong things. Don't give attention to the wrong things. Don't meditate on the wrong things. If you see wrong things happening, don't meditate on them. Only meditate on the word of God and only meditate on beautiful and bright things. Go to the right places where you'll be inspired to see that you can do great things out of life. You can create beautiful things out of life and not stay within a setting that begins to destroy a great sense of reasoning in your mind. As I close, I know some people might want to say, well, Pastor Preston, we need to understand how life is. We need to know what some people are going through. We need to know what's happening in the wicked world and all that. Have you finished knowing what's happening in the good world? Why do you want to know what's happening in the wicked world? Did the Bible not say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you? Even though you walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil, right? So why do you want to pay attention to the wicked world when you've not paid enough attention to the will of God, to the kingdom of God, to the things that God has designed that you pay attention to? So forget about the negative things. Do you get on a car and then you want to say, I want to see uh, uh, the, the engine, I want to see all the bad things about the car? Don't you enjoy the interior, the beautiful, uh, beautiful looks of how that car is? If they dismantle that car, you're going to see a lot of mess on it. Why did you not buy a car and says, oh, dismantle it for me. I want to see all the negative things, all the bad things about this car. You enjoy the beautiful st- stuff, isn't it? That's the same thing you should do. Enjoy the beautiful things out of life. Don't inform yourself the wrong things so you don't create the wrong things out of life. It's one life you got to live and you need to live it rightly. Live it rightly now so you don't get, get to a point where you're about to get out this earth and then you begin to advise those who are coming in so they don't make the mistake that you made. Think about this. Thank you for listening. Amen.